food today coming up. Carrots. Oh, oh, my, oh my gosh. You There's guys a... stick around. We're going to. Yeah, Cream there are like frosting. Uh, the whole the whole ribs and bread. Oh my breadsticks! And there are ribs that are so big. You remember the Flintstones when they set them That's on the car and tipped like, right? it over? Oh look, yeah. there it is, there right it is. there. Look at that. Juan's it gonna have those so ribs good. right by him before it's done. We're gonna show you all about that and the carrot cake. Looks oh, and there's cake too. Oh my goodness! All right, take that camera off. Yeah, wait so till you see the side. It's really cool. And let them eat cake. And ribs and breadsticks and salad. <laughs> yeah, no excuses. Today's a great day to have a big old piece of carrot cake. We're going to show you why coming up. Well, do you have a sweet tooth? I know I do. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Today, you can have your veggies, you can have your cake, all in one terrific dessert. Our friends from Stonefire Grill are here, and they're going to reveal their secret recipe for carrot cake. Today's a special day. You can have your cake and veggies too. This is National Carrot Cake Day, and Stonefire Grill owner Justin Lopez is here to share tips from their secret family recipe. Justin, secret family recipe. Justin, you're telling me this is grandma's recipe. This is grandma's recipe. It's been in the family for a long time, huh? Long time. I can remember many times growing up as a kid and having it prepared by her. And now we're doing it on a grander scale here at Stonefire. And with cream cheese frosting, I mean, my goodness, you cannot beat that, right? Yes, that's I right. I love cream cheese frosting. Well, let's talk a little bit about, uh, you want to talk about Stonefire Grill? We'll talk a little bit about what you have to offer at the restaurant? Sure. We brought some of our signatures for you since we know mm -hmm. that this is your first experience with Stonefire. Yes. Some mesquite mm -hmm. uh, barbecue baby back ribs, mesquite grilled tri-tip. We have our barbecue chop salad. This is our signature salad some garlic mashed potatoes for you. And one, of course, our most popular dishes is the carrot cake, and that's right. what we're here to talk about. Right, and Sandra, I know, loves your food at Stone Fire. She's been there many times. So yeah. let's go ahead and talk about this uh, recipe and how to make your carrot cake. He's not giving away the family recipe, folks, but he's gonna help us make our own carrot cake a little better, right? Yeah, absolutely. So we have three wonderful tips to share with you for doing this at home. You're going to start with a great base. This is our batter, and we've prepared it in advance for you. But really, the tips to a successful and moist carrot cake that's mm -hmm. delicious are three. You have the crushed pineapple. The mm -hmm. temptation might be, used, uh, might be to use fresh, but we like crushed with just a little bit of the juice. Lots of fresh carrots. And of course, the signature frosting, which we'll get to in a second. And using a canned pineapple also has a little more sweetness to it, right? It a little does. sugar that they add to it? Absolutely, yeah. We want a little bit of the sweetness coming through in the cake and then a whole lot of it coming through yeah. in the signature Justin frosting. Justin was telling me that's what makes the cake so moist, right? Absolutely. All right, let's, yeah. shall we add that? Absolutely. So we're going to add a little bit of the pineapple. And again, not too much, but just enough to give it the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Mix that in nicely. And we like lots of carrots. So at home, you're going to want to use about three fresh cups of carrots. Mm -hmm. And make sure that they're dry as well so you don't have them um, over moistened before they go in the cake. And you're going to mix it together nicely until you get a, a good consistency for the batter. And uh, at home, you might go ahead and use a uh, round cake pan about nine inches and we like ours stacked three layers high with the frosting. Mm -hmm. Do you do parchment paper and butter and all that to we, make sure it comes off nicely or? Uh, no parchment paper but a little bit of butter just to grease it. And regarding nice. carrots any tips for our viewers on what carrots to use? I mean you want obviously fresh crisp carrots. Right? Absolutely and you want to use a, a good sized carrot as well um, when you're doing that. So you bake that in the oven, you let it cool, and then the magic of cream cheese frosting Absolutely. comes in, right? Absolutely, and we couldn't imagine cream cheese frosting oh, at Stonefire without three key ingredients, really. Okay, we're Let's talking move this out of the way here so they can see. We are talking about cream cheese, a whole lot of powdered sugar, and a little bit of butter. You can sweeten it with some milk as oh, well. Wait, 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 oh my goodness, Garth, it's not time yet. There he goes. He took an entire slice of cake, but we have plenty more, right? Absolutely. All right, Justin, sorry, but let's go ahead and continue on with your cream cheese frosting. Yeah, so once you have this all uh, put together, uh, you're going to uh, just cream the ingredients. And the end result is this. We do it oversized here on a sheet pan at Stone Fire. This Look is at this, three layers. everybody. My goodness. And this is one of your most popular desserts as well, right? It is, yeah. yeah. Any uh, tips on how to eat it? I know some people like it with ice cream on the side, whipped cream. What's, what do you like? We think it's good just by itself. It's the perfect combination of sweetness and uh, the good carrot flavor as well, which is wonderful. 
And um, this week at Stonefire, we're offering it for 50% off uh, in honor of National Carrot Cake Week. Wow, so 50% off to enjoy some of the carrot cake. And I know Sandra Mitchell is coming over. I've got two I forks for own Sandy. Fork. I brought my own fork. And here we have, grab this one here. Here we have two. the uh, carrot cake. Let's go ahead and oh, try gosh. it. Made at your uh, restaurants. Enjoy. Oh my God, mm. it's so good. It is so moist. Mm. It is so good, and I love that cream cheese frosting. Don't Look at this guy here. Don't talk to me. He's got his own. He's got his own. Sandy and I are sharing this piece. Goth is taken away I with the. Uh, I need a bigger fork. Mm -hmm. mm, this is so good. Have you guys done anything with that meat yet? Have you Not talked yet. about it? Not yet. We're going to talk about it oh during the break, okay? All right, Justin, thank you. For more information about carrot cakes and Stonefire's recipe, just go to kcal9.com. Click Scene on TV, and as Justin was saying, 50% off this weekend, right? Wow. That's right. So enjoy it. I was like hoping. It.